Over the past 102 years, Knott's Berry Farm has had a number of different attractions. The majority of these attractions have stayed around since they were added to the park, but some of them sadly were moved by the park either to make room for more rides or just because the public didn't like them. So from older to more recent rides that have been removed, here are the top 5 extinct attractions from Knott's Berry Farm. Number 5. Walking through the boardwalk section of the park, there's one ride that really stands out, and that ride is known as Accelerator. And, as most rides in the park, this ride hasn't been there since opening day. So since this ride opened in the early 2000s, it had to replace some sort of ride. And the ride that Accelerator replaced was one of the most hated rides in Knott's Berry Farm history. And that ride is a roller coaster that was known by the name of Windjammer Surf Racers. And this roller coaster replaced another one called Wacky Soapbox Racers, which we'll talk about later in this video. So as I said, Windjammer Surf Racer was one of Knott's Berry Farm's most hated roller coasters, and it was hated so much that it only operated for three short years, making it one of the most shortest lived rides in Knott's Berry Farm history. So the main reason why Windjammer was such a hated ride is because you could just never get a good ride on this. It was always super jerky and so uncomfortable. And not only did guests hate this ride, but the park did too. After just a few weeks of this ride being in operation, they had to close it down for repairs costing over $2 million. And also on top of that, there's many more reasons why the park decided to shut down this ride. Like, if there was a slight breeze, this ride would come to a complete stop mid-ride. And all these issues led up to the park suing the company that made the ride, Togo, for $17 million in damages. The park claimed that all these incidents were related to Togo for poorly engineering the coaster. So there was many different things that the park claimed that Togo poorly engineered such as poor track design, defective safety restraints, and wrinkles in the frame of the main trains causing it to be very jerky, and also a design flaw that allowed the train to not be able to operate in medium winds. So after all this happened, Togo shut down all their American offices in 2001 and filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. So during this lawsuit, Knott's Berry Farm ended up closing the ride, and then eventually, just a few months later, they put walls up around the ride, took it down, and then replaced it with what we know today as Accelerator. Number 4. And the next one on the list is another old one from the boardwalk section, known as the Perilous Plunge. So this attraction was essentially a water ride mixed with a roller coaster, making it a water coaster. Sadly, this ride only operated for around 12 years until it was eventually shut down. So back in 1999, Knott's Berry Farm had announced this ride and then started to build it. When construction crews started to clear the land for this ride, guests could just tell how big the plot of land would be for this ride. So if you're curious where exactly this ride was, it was located from right around where Accelerator's launch was, all the way down to the Johnny Rockets, and when it closed was replaced with rides like Coast Rider and a couple of carnival style rides. But after the construction ended, this ride opened to the public on September 15th of 2000. This ride wasn't the most beloved ride in the park, but it still had a lot of fans. So even though this ride was doing good for itself and had quite a few different riders on it every day, the park decided to remove it because it had a big plot of land and they could use that land to add multiple different new rides. So in 2012, the park announced that this ride would be closing for good. And then just a year later, three new rides opened on this plot of land. They were pretty good rides, except for Coast Rider, which isn't really my favorite. Number three. So the Screamin' Sween is an old ride from Knott's Berry Farm that you used to have to pay to go on. Now there isn't too much information about why the park decided to move this ride, but it is still one that's worth talking about. So this ride first opened at the park back in 2004, and then was removed sometime around 2017 or 2018, and then was replaced with a stage. So even though there's not really information about why the park removed this, I have a few ideas of why they could possibly remove this. Of course, the first one is they probably want to add a stage in the park for some of their festivals. Another reason that could be is because not much people really wanted to ride this ride because it was pay to ride. So not enough people are going on this, so the park didn't really want to keep this ride open. And another one could be that they removed it and the stage is temporarily there and they could replace it with a different ride in the future. But this is highly unlikely and I could be wrong on that. Number two. 
And next up on the list is Wacky Soapbox Racer. So this ride was a classic at Knott's Berry Farm. It operated for 20 years until it was sadly closed. So besides the fact that many people love this ride, it was also a very rare ride. The company that made it, Aerodynamics, only made two types of these roller coasters, one being at Knott's Berry Farm, which sadly was closed and removed, and the other one was at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which fortunately still operates till this day. So sadly, the park announced in 1996 that this ride would be removed and be replaced by a brand new thrill ride. And that ride would be Windjammer Surf Racers, one of the most hated rides at Knott's Berry Farm. So even though this ride sadly doesn't operate anymore, at least the plot of land was used eventually for a good ride known as Accelerator. Number 1 So one of the most beloved rides from the past of Knott's Berry Farm was Knott's Berry Tales. So I, sadly enough, never got to experience Knott's Berry Tales and lots of older rides from Knott's Berry Farm, but what I've heard from people talking about this ride, and from what I've read, this was a very good ride and one that lots of people loved. So this was the park's only dark ride, and from the POVs I saw, I can understand why people love this ride so much. So this ride looked to be so well done, I love the storyline on this, and the characters were just extraordinary. So this ride definitely turned out really good because it was made by one of the best Disney Imagineers out there known as Rolly Crump. He designed some rides at Disneyland such as the Haunted Mansion and the Enchanted Tiki Room and also worked on some movies that were made by Disney such as Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, and Sleeping Beauty. So this ride operated for around 10 years until 1986 when it was changed to another ride known as Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. So after years and years and years and years, in 2021, the park reopened Knott's Berry Tales in a new form. So now, even though the ride has changed a bit, it's good to see these bears back at the park. And with all that said, that is going to finish it for today's video, everyone. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, I do hope that you'll consider subscribing. It would really help out the channel a lot because I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers, and you guys subscribing would help me reach that goal a lot quicker. And also, make sure to like, comment, do everything you can to support my channel, and I'll see you all next video. Goodbye.